Heterodoxology. On Sunday, I watched the steady drip of Stephanopoulos and Russert. The list of names, ranks, hometowns, and ages. Mostly 19 to 25, with an occasional 41 or 2-year-old. Drop by drop, the lifeblood of a nation as it passes into the slop bucket of history. George calls it the honor roll, but I have to wonder, where's the honor in all this useless slaughter? As a young man, historian Perry Miller watched the barrels of oil being loaded off the coast of Africa in the moon's harsh glare and had an epiphany, heard the call to explain the innermost propulsion of America. Well, here it is. It's in your home and on the tables of America's most opulent, lining the shelves at Walmart and Target, in the soaring murders of children by gunfire on our streets, in the shrill claim of salvation by entrepreneurial giants, on billboards and laptop screens, and in the anonymous screams of gunshot victims who know their right to bear arms is protected by the Constitution or would know if it would know it if only they had lived to be older than four. It's in the exploding meth labs of our suburbs and the incessant chatter of pundits too damn dim to see the snow job pouring from the White House in the name of freedom. Brecht used to say, whenever they mention freedom, I reach for my knife. Like the unending blizzard in Kafka's A Country Doctor, a thick blizzard of snow filling all the wide spaces of 20th century America. And in the young girl who dreams of meeting an online predator who will take her away from all this, in your tanks, and your banks, your cranks and swanks. And by the way, thanks for the memories, Bob Hope Less. I get carried away sometimes, too. I can't help it. I'm just a poet. What's a, what can a poet do but write poems? And now all that snow, 20 or 30 feet deep, as we await breathlessly, innocent of God, God's will, good and evil, good judgment, good God, y'all, and the reality TV show to end all shows, the dream of oil profiteering in the name of our sponsors and masters, Halliburton and ExxonMobil, Beer Blast and Super Bowl World, Bloodbath and Fuckfest, God, it feels great to be an American. I've never felt this way before. All that snow oozing, tinted scarlet, a massive brain hemorrhage of the 21st century, a secret memo inside multinational oil that reads, let's send Miss Liberty's tired, huddling masses to start a colony on Mars. All this to bury the record of folly of another senile actor, world without end, amen.